So in this video, we're going to talk about the scissors tool, how it works and its limitations. We've got three examples. The first is a snowman looking thing, which is just a, a bunch of overlapping shapes. The second is a circle with some overlapping lines, which we want to trim the edges off. And the third is the word happy, which we want to attach to this rectangle, but keeping the inside lines that we can use for a low power cut engrave. So I'm just gonna turn the eyeballs off for these. So with example one, we have the snowman. I'm just going to ungroup that and I'm going to hide the top two shapes. So we're just left with two circles. So with this, we want to use the scissors tool to trim away this inside, these inside lines. To go into edit mode for both shapes, we need to select both and choose compound path. There we can go to edit and we have access to the scissors tool for both of these shapes. If we choose the scissors tool, I'm going to zoom in. If we want to trim away these inside lines, we can just choose trim. But what happens is it cuts from this node here to this node here and we want to cut to the intersecting parts of, of both lines. So what we can do is go back to select and if we hover over a line, we can have a zoom in, we can actually click and place a node. But the problem is sometimes you just don't know which line you're placing the node on. So if I went to scissors and selected this line, this node is on this line, so we can trim away this and this, but we can't trim away this side. So it can get a little bit confusing. So what we can do is if I zoom out and click done. With both of these circles selected, if we go to release compound path, we can choose one of the Boolean operations. I mean, the best for this would be Unite, but because we're using the scissors tool, if we choose Subtract at Overlap and then go to Edit, we can now see that it has added some nodes right at the intersecting points, which is perfect. So if we went to the scissors tool, we can start clicking away and it will trim away the inside lines. If we click done, but if we come out, it is one piece, but it's still a compound path. So if we choose release compound path, we actually have two separate objects. You can fix this by selecting both and choosing unite. This will join them up to be one vector, but it can get a little bit confusing. I'm just going to turn these other ones on. So I would suggest trying to use these Boolean operations as much as you can before trying the scissors tool. If we click Unite there, that is as it should be. So for example two, I'm just going to ungroup that. If we tried the same trick as we did on the last one, which was to select everything and choose this subtract at overlap, everything disappears. So that isn't going to work. We need to add the points in manually. So we can either do that one by one by selecting it and then just clicking here and here and then choosing the scissors tool and trimming here and here. Click done. Or we can select all the lines, make them a compound path, then click on edit. And then we can add in points here here, here, here. This isn't the most accurate way if we choose the scissors, but we can quickly and easily trim away everything we need to and click done. And then we can just release those. So example three is a bit more common what people who want to use this for. We 
can just ungroup that. We have the word happy and we want to attach this to this rectangle, but we also want to keep these inside lines and use them as a score, a low power cut. So I'm just going to copy and paste this down here. And the first version, we just want to unite. So we have the total outside shape for the cutout. On this second version, I'm just going to move it to a red layer. And we select this and we want to choose Unite at Overlap. If we select that, we now have the inside lines and we just need to now go into Edit and use the scissors tool to trim away all these pieces that we don't need. So here and here and here. Now, these small parts are the parts that these sections join. It's up to you if you want to keep those or not. If you do, you just want to trim away these straight lines. And again, we want to trim away all these flat horizontal lines. So we're just left with all the verticals. Trim, trim, trim. Can be a little bit tricky sometimes with the scissors, but just keep clicking. So go back to select and done. This is still a compound vector. So we can now manually move into position, but the snap, there is no snapping. So you're just going to have to be careful and get it as close as you can. And there we have a red layer that we can put onto score and the blue layer we can put onto cut to do two operations. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.